this is Eric. This is a new Arducam Mega SPI camera from Arducam. It has two products, 3 megapixel, 5 megapixel, and everything is the same except for resolution, autofocus support, power consumption, and focal ratio. This product communicates with the MCU through the SPI interface. It seems to have adapted the SPI interface to make it work with almost any microcontroller. It means not only Arduino but also STM32, ESP3s, and Raspberry Pi can be used by connecting via SPI. That's awesome because it's possible to acquire images from the camera through only 4 SPI pin connections. So the module of this camera can be used in a variety of the hardware. The advantage of this is huge. This is not only simplifies hardware configuration but also allows us to configure our application very simply. Also, in a normal case, we have to use a lot of GPIOs to connect the camera, but it only requires 4 pins. We can save lots of GPIOs. Not only that, we can easily create a multi-camera system too. Really cool, doesn't it? Okay, it was good. Now it's time to talk about the cons. That's the speed of SPI. It seems very difficult to get continuous images at the speed of 8 MHz. Oh man, 8 MHz. Since the time to acquire a single image is very slow, the camera is not the best for continuous streaming of images. If your project requires continuous streaming image acquisition, this is not a good solution. Please believe me, it's not a good one. This is because you can get about one picture per second at VGA resolution. That's awful. Well, I mentioned the pros and cons of this camera. I'm pretty sure you got this. So what I'm most curious about is the quality of the images I can get from this camera. Unfortunately, I couldn't find out which image sensor was used. If I find it, I will update it on the video description. Uh, from now on, I'm gonna test the image quality with the GUI tool they provide. Uh, currently, the camera is connected to my ESP32 and it's connected to my PC via UART serial. The serial speed is set to 921,600 BPS, so it can transmit 90 kilobytes per second. The current resolution is 620x240 and the video is coming up. You can see the frame rate of about 3 fps in the bottom left corner. The only thing to check here is to make sure the autofocus is working properly. The video test is meaningless since it's too slow. The autofocus function seems to work great. It seems to work well from a distance of at least 8cm. Please note that only the 5 megapixel has a F function. You can manually adjust the gain and exposure and all basic functions such as brightness, contrast, and other options are included. Also, you can see that the autofocus mode is supported in various ways. All of these allows you to acquire images with the options you want, not only in the GUI but also in code. What I want to see here is the quality of the image at maximum resolution. The maximum resolution for the 5 megapixel is 2592 by 1944. And for the 3 megapixel, it's 2048 by 1536. Then let's take a picture with each camera. It took a few seconds to write one picture to the PC because of the picture size at the maximum resolution. Wow, look at this image. It looks really clear. The image for me is JPEG, and I got two images, uncompressed raw image and a compressed one through these two save buttons. Uh, first, let's compare the two images at 5 megapixel. It's the same resolution. The image on the left is the uncompressed one, and the image on the right is the compressed one. Let's enlarge the text part of the glue stick. The image on the left shows sharpener outlines without less noise. By zooming in like this, we can clearly see the difference. The raw image quality is very good. If you compare the image file size, you can see that the file size on the left is about 60% larger. Yeah, it makes sense. There are two images at 3 megapixel. The maximum resolution is 2048 by 1536. Since the background is in focus, the glue stick in front is very blurry. I'm gonna zoom in on the box at the back. It's almost the same, but you can get a clearer image without compression. The image quality is not bad, but I'm pretty sure nobody can beat the 5 megapixel image for now. Now let's compare it with the image I took with my iPhone. The images from iPhone are always very good. Now this image is in HEIC format and the resolution is 4032 by 3024 and the file size is about 1.5 megabytes. As you can see, the iPhone's image quality is really good in every way. The reason I'm comparing this is because I think perhaps this Arducam Mega can acquire the highest quality image among the cameras available in MCU. 
Again, in the image from RGK Mega 5 megapixel, there is no bad noise and it provides a very clear image. If you adjust the contrast and brightness a little bit for the situation, I think you can get a better image with this camera. If your project is to acquire specific sample images or doesn't need to get a real-time image such as a surveillance camera, then this is a very good camera, only for a high resolution image. I think it's hard to find a camera that gets images of this quality among cameras that can be used in almost all MCUs. Anyway, after more testing, I'm gonna try to find out which applications are possible with it. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you on the next project.